Back in March, Intel CEO Pat Gelsinger rolled out the company's IDM 2.0 strategy. You can find my write up here. Net Net, the company announced two new fabs, seriously re entered the foundry business with IFS, and provided more details on its technologies and partner based manufacturing TSMC, GF, Samsung, and partner based technology approach with IBM. You can also find more information on IDM 2.0 here when I interviewed Pat Gelsinger in June. Today, the company provided a few updates on its technologies and announced a new node naming schema. Intel's first big announcement of the day is its new node naming schema for its next few generations of semiconductor technology. Intel recognizes that its naming schema requires a change to represent semiconductor technology better and I like the approach. From my vantage point, the semiconductor industry recognizes that the naming schema behind nodes is already flawed. The problem is that the press, some analysts, and even some OEMs haven't internalized this. A 7 nanometers chip from one competitor may be consistent with another 5 nanometers chip, or a 5 nanometers chip may have most transistor lengths considerably longer than 5 nanometers. Samsung and TSMC admit this inconsistency, and Intel is finally doing something about it by changing its naming schema away from the nanometer naming and closer to what TSMC and Samsung are doing. I think it is smart to move away from the measurement naming schema because, in the process, it will refocus innovation of the semiconductor, and I am hoping it will make comparisons easier. I'm hopeful we'll move away from smaller meaning faster is innovation, which isn't necessarily the case, and toward efficiency and density, including packaging more defines innovation. Moving forward, Intel's naming schema for its 10 nanometers super fin will stay the same, and the following nodes will do away with the nanometer name. The enhanced super fin will be called Intel 7, and what was previously known as the 7 nanometers will be referred to as the Intel 4, followed by the Intel 3. The Intel 7 boasts a 10 to 15% perf watt gain with FinFET transistor optimizations and is currently in volume production. The Intel 4 should have a 20% perf watt gain and take advantage of EUV lithography. The Intel 3 should have power and area improvements over the Intel 4. The Intel 3 node will complete that era of semiconductors, and Intel will move into the Angstrom era of semiconductors with a completely different naming schema. The Angstrom is the next lower measurement after the nanometer, nanometer. One Angstrom is a tenth of a nanometer, so two nanometers would be 20 Angstroms. Intel's next node will be called Intel 20A, with the A signifying the era of Angstrom semiconductors and 20 being about where Intel would consider the node's measurement to be. I say, would consider, because, in all reality, you cannot measure the dimensions of a transistor, and this has been true for over a decade.